Hi, I'm Coach Lynn Idris of CoachingADDVantages.com. I specialize in working with individuals, particularly professionals, who struggle with things like procrastination, disorganization, poor time management, weak follow through, and having too much on their plates. One of the underlying kind of common threads among many of my clients is that they struggle with various types of clutter in their lives, whether it's physical clutter in their surroundings, you know, just too much stuff that is, you know, disorganized or just too much stuff, period, or clutter in their commitments and their calendar and their relationship and, and the, all of the different roles and things that they take on, projects, all of that stuff. We tend to be those who, who overcommit and under deliver. That's kind of our, our MO often. And that's really painful when you know you're smart enough, you know you're capable, you know you're competent, or at least you think you were at one point, but that sort of overcommitment and that clutter in your life really makes it hard for you to be the person that you want to be. So one of the things that I work with when, on my clients when we're talking about clutter, when we're talking about simplifying our lives, is to think about the things in your life differently. Thinking about the things in your life in terms of how they serve you, which is kind of a coachy way of saying, you know, how they benefit you or how they are kind of you know, helping you get where you want to go is really important. So every single thing in your life, whether it's the knickknacks on your shelf, to the clothing in your closet, to the commitments on your calendar, to the friendships in your past and in your present, to the roles and responsibilities and the projects that you take on, every single one of those things can become clutter. So it's important to look at each one of those things in your life and ask yourself whether that thing is an anchor for you or that thing is an oar. If that thing is an anchor, it's holding you back. It's holding you in place. It's keeping you from moving forward. It's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you stuck in the past and it's keeping you stuck in the present. And it's definitely not helping you move forward to be the person to live the life that you want for yourself. Most of my clients want more peace, more control, less stress, um, you know, a better feeling at the end of the day that they've, you know, they've done what they intended to do and, you know, they can lay down and they can relax or they can be present with their family when they want to be. Those anchors, those oars keep us all from living in that place of peace and productivity and feelings of success. The things in your life that help you move forward, the things in your life that propel you to to the life you want to live, that are that are helping you move forward to being the you and living the life you want for yourself are oars, literally. If you think about what a, an oar is, literally, it propels you forward and anchor keeps you stuck in place. So the next time you're looking at your calendar, the next time you're looking at your relationships, the next time you're looking at the projects or things that you've committed to, the appointments on your calendar, the clutter in your home and in your surroundings, the physical clutter, the stuff, you know, your, your overpacked closet and your overfilled drawers and, and shelves, ask yourself, are these things holding me back or are they moving me forward? Are they anchors or are they oars? And often that is helpful in being able to let go of some of those things because that's really what we need to do. Again, I'm Coach Lynn Idris. I hope something in here is helpful for you. That's my, my aim is to support you, help you learn to live well in your life with whatever challenges are facing you. It really doesn't need to be so hard. You can find out more about me on my website at www.coachingaddvantages.com. Thanks for watching.